Mauricio Pochettino reveals verdict of Daniel Levy talks mid Manchester United links. Of course, he may change his mind if he tries to wriggle out of his four and a half year contract this summer. That said, the axis at the heart of the Tottenham success story is one of the main reasons why it may not come to a standoff despite Manchester United's interest. Pochettino might not need any convincing at all that his immediate future is still with Tottenham as he continues to roll out Levy's long-term project. The unexpected harmony he seems to have with his chairman could be enough to convince the Argentinian that nowhere is the grass greener than at the club's new stadium. Sir Alex Ferguson famously said in 2015 that dealing with Daniel Levy had been more painful than his hip replacement but Pochettino joked that he was the one manager the Tottenham chairman actually seemed to get on with. For me, it's the opposite, he said. If there was one person that was easy to do business with was Daniel, personally. Historically, other managers were the opponent of Daniel. They always fight with Daniel. It's only me maybe that has a good relationship with him. Negotiations were more difficult for him than me, I am the manager and he cannot upset me. If we are talking about extending a contract or giving me more money, you need to be careful. With agents, you can talk very openly and say anything that you want and the agent will manage the situation. But when you are talking directly to your manager, one word can change the negotiation or change your mind. For him. That was new and it was tough every time he needed to talk to me. Ed Woodward be warned, then. Although everything about Pochettino's press conference yesterday suggested that the Manchester United chief executive should be trying to do business with him this summer. Relaxed, genial, open and smiling, the 46-year-old yesterday was everything United need to cast out once and for all the bitterest days of the Jose Moreno era. Take the poisonous cloud that was allowed to surround Paul Pogba, for instance. Pochettino showed a very different approach towards keeping his star player on a leash. He sidestepped speculation about Christian Eriksen's reluctance to commit his future to the club by instead recalling a pleasant dinner he, his wife and his assistant Jesus Perez had with the player in Copenhagen last summer very much the personal touch. Christian is a very clever person and of course there's going to be a decision from him, from the club, from different parts and I hope he can be committed to the club long term, said Pochettino. But he is a very special person and you need to give him freedom, like on the pitch. You cannot put him in a box. You need to give freedom and trust him. Like my dog, in the park. I trust my dog. I say, go, I trust you. He insisted on following this up by showing assembled reporters a picture Rhodesian Ridgeback Sansa on his phone. And when I say whole family, Sansa is part of that, he added. With the same boyish enthusiasm, Pochettino then recalled another recent meal. Sir Alex Ferguson was always one of the people I admired the most, an inspiration, he said. I was so lucky to share with him a very nice lunch in London. After that we keep a very good relationship. It's nothing to hide because we are football people and admire people like him. It's why his return behind the scenes has had a massive impact on fans, the staff and the players at United. He was the best manager in the world, in the history of football and to have the possibility to see him every day is massive. I remember it was treasure for me when my dad and my mum made a present to me at Christmas of Lyris. A big encyclopedia where you can find everything. Sir Alex is like an encyclopedia of football. An ambitious man himself, Pochettino will be looking to write another important page in his own book at Wembley tomorrow. It is a page that could well have a major impact on where the next whole chapter is written.